Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can create the speedometer and fuel meter. So let's go. First of all we will start up with the materials. I already imported some textures for this. You can find these textures in my discord server in the content section. So we have a fuel meter, a normal map here and a tempo meter here or speedometer. So let's start with material, right click material. Let's call this speedometer. Open this up, put this a little bit to the side here. Just get the tempo meter here and put it right here. Like that. Then we need the constant for vector. Then we go from here and say multiply this one here and connect the RGB A section here and this will be connected to the base color and let's put this here to everything to one. So the good part about that is now do it you can select actually the color that you want to have later for the fonts so I can maybe change this to a slightly blue one and you can see we changed the font. But let's keep this to a white here. Next we need to put in the normal map as well like that and of course connect it to the normal. Now we have this kind of glass shape here and at the end we need a scalar parameter. This will be the intensity. Let's put the intensity to 1. Then we need to multiply again. Connect this one to A, this one to B and this will be the immersive color and now it lights up. So now we are able to change the color and the intensity of the light of our meter here. So we hit apply and save this one and then we just copy and paste this for a let's say a fuel meter underscore m and all we have to do is pull this out here get the fuel meter and switch up the textures like that here we go apply and save this one Next we will implement this in our car. In my case I used the car from the last tutorials. The Firebird here, of course you can choose your car as well. So let's implement them by just hitting the mesh and add a cylinder. And just call this speedometer. Of course you can see we have to change the size and adjust it to the slot here like that and then of course we go to our speedometer here select the material and put it right here. So there's our speedometer of course we need another cylinder this will be our pointer make sure to have it as a child of the speedometer cylinder here and then we just change the values and then we will just add a cube here like that and also change it like that and choose a red material for this like that. So as you can see now our speedometer is finished and we rotate the pointer here so the cylinder you can see we see the change so in my case as you can see minus 120 degrees is zero and plus 120 degrees is the maximum keep that in mind for later very important compile and save this so now we have to do the same thing for the cube for that let's just copy and paste this one and then we call this one here fuel meter 
This will be pounder 2 for example. And then we just move it to the side here. Like that. And we just need to replace the material. Select the fuel meter, put it right here. And there we go. Of course, we need to adjust the pointer. Let's see. It will be uh, kind of minus 78 degree here. And plus 78 degree. So as well, keep that in mind for later. So we are done here. Let's go back to our level. Go back to the vehicle template, blueprints and open up the vehicle player controller. We already have the tick event to update the HUD. We can copy and paste the forward speed here, put it right here. Then we get the controller pawn and cast to our car. In my case, the Firebird. Then we get the pointer. This one here, so the cylinder that we can rotate. And now we need to calculate the rotation of the pointer. For that, let's go back to our level and open up the vehicle UI, the graph. And as you can see, we have already the calculation here for how to calculate this one into miles or kilometers. So let's take the kilometer value here, go back, and we just say multiply by this value here. Then again, we say multiply because I experienced that we have to multiply this again by 1.5. You will see later why. And then we say subtract and go minus 120. As we remembered, this is the degree that goes directly to zero. So we start from there. Then we go from here and say in range. So we choose the minimum of minus 120 and plus 120. Of course, we need a branch to ask like that. And at the end, we just set the relative rotation of the pointer on true. Right click, split structure pin, and then we just connect the result to the drawer here. And that's basically it. For the fuel meter, we go back to our Firebird and create a new variable called fuel, which will be a float. Then go back to our vehicle player controller here. Again, we can copy and paste the cast like that. And then get the pointer, this time the second one, this one here of the fuel meter. We get the fuel, so our new variable, this one, say minus. Again, we will subtract the degree of, in this case, minus 78. And at the end, set the relative rotation as well. Like that. Great. We are done here, so let's close this one and go back to our car, because currently our fuel system doesn't have any functions. First of all, we need to set our fuel, in this case to 156, basically 78 plus 78. So let's close this one and go to the throttle input. So the idea is that we reduce the fuel when we hit the throttle input, and that we can't hit the throttle input when we are running out of fuel. So for that, let's get the fuel here. Then we check, of course, is it greater or equal than zero. We need a branch to ask right at the begin, like that. And of course, only when we have a true value, then we can hit throttle input. Let's copy and paste this down here. And defaults will be set the throttle input every time to zero. Otherwise, we can hit the throttle input. Then we go from the fuel and want to subtract this one. Let's choose one just for example. You will see later why. And then we want to set the fuel back here to the result. And that's it. Compile and save this. Let's see if this works. We hit play. You can see we have a full tank. And we 
can drive forward. The fuel is running out. And now I can't hit the throttle input anymore and we came to stand. Of course, you can change the values to, let's say, 0.1. So the fuel will go down much slower like that. Great. In the next episode, I will show you how you can fill up the tank by a gas station. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, goodbye.